I play pickleball. I play a lot of pickleball, <laughs> and uh, and I love it. And um, it's one of my chances to really interact with uh, people not of our faith all right. the time. And I have I draw out some good friends that we play with. And and as as the questions come, you know, they find out that I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So the other day, one of my friends, he just pulled me aside and he said, "You and I need to go to lunch sometime, and I need to ask you about why you glow." <laughs> you know, and you're kind of like. <laughs> okay, you know, you don't know what to say in that yeah. moment. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, hopefully it wasn't just the hair, you know, the head, the shininess. Um, we did. We went out to lunch. He started asking questions saying, you know, I'm around lots of people, but when I'm around you, there's, there's something about you, and I want you to tell me what it is. Wow. And at first, I felt myself just kind of dismissing it, just being like, oh, you're kind, you know, it's nothing. But I thought, I, I literally thought of this verse in Peter and thought, no, Ryan, this is the point of living the gospel is it should give you opportunities to say, I'll tell you why. Um, it, it's my faith in Christ and it's the restoration of the gospel. It's my covenants. And as I try to live those, I hope it, I hope it looks appealing mm -hmm. because it feels amazing to me. I do feel joy. I do feel peace and confidence even in the midst because, you know, coming out of things with the pandemic or whatever, I think he had lots of he was struggling. He was struggling to find hope and joy. And so to see in somebody that they still found that even when things were hard, I love that he asked me questions.